I've invested several million dollars in the collection. So here's a nine foot Amethyst Geo that weighs over 7,000 pounds. I've had folks from different museums come out that are curators and they mentioned that the displays are probably the largest or one of the largest private displays in the world. Each of these form in different parts of the world. Right now it spans about 3,000 square feet of the house and there's probably several thousand pieces that are part of the collection. It got too big to be able to handle. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is what's called a calcite formation on top of a piece of amethyst. It's one of the largest ones ever mined, and it looks like a floating island. Seeing that this beauty exists in nature is really inspiring, so I really love it. I love looking at it, appreciating it, just absolute awe of what nature produces. The absolute precision, the seemingly deliberateness or purposefulness about what's being created in nature, but it's happening all over the world. These are 100% natural formations, not modified by humans at all. I really would be eager to meet the person or group that had a bigger display collection than I had. Come on in, let me show you my gem collection. It was about 10 years ago, and it was a rainy day. I was desperately trying to find something to do with my kids. So we're driving around and I saw this billboard that said mineral and fossil exhibit. I'm like, all right, we're doing this. So we went, we saw dinosaur bones and crazy rocks and sculptures and the most incredible mix of eclectic, strange people. And my kids are like me, they asked a million questions and everyone there was so happy and helpful to educate us and inform us about what this was all about. We spent three hours there, had a blast, bought a few things from them, put them on my display and then quickly I was like, wow, I want to do more. And then that's kind of how it evolved. It got too big to be able to handle. This is a half of an amethyst slab and the size of each crystal is like a baseball. So the largest piece is up in the den, which weighs about 7,400 pounds, and it's a giant amethyst geode, nine foot from Brazil. It's sliced in half. When we brought it into the house, I was beyond in over my head because trying to get this in the house was incredibly difficult. And it turns out that it began buckling the house. So we had to reinforce the house. This. I don't think was ever intended to be in someone's house. This is, I don't know where this belongs. I think it belongs in Earth, but now we're just getting to enjoy it. I think the rarest piece might be that brontosaurus bone. So this brontosaurus bone is almost preserved perfectly as if it was not far from when it actually demised. So that only happens randomly and very rarely in nature. So super lucky to have that. Every piece has a story, where it came from, who mined it, what company helped find it, the relationships that we made along the way. This isn't just about collecting rocks, it's about building relationships with people and enjoying the energy that comes from all this. My favorite piece, Mexican agates. If I were shown them just a few years ago, I would have bet anything that these were not natural. And they are, They're, they, I saw them come from the earth, we chopped it in half and polished it, and there it was. So the agates are my absolute most fascinating pieces. 15, 20 different colors in one stone is pretty amazing. This is about 37 million years old, so each band is about a million years, and each color represents a different thing going on on earth. So it really is looking into the past when you look at these things. Each of the displays, I've spent hundreds of hours trying to organize, structure the color combinations, combine together the theme of mother nature and art and try to illuminate it with great light so that you can really be appreciated. There's over 6,000 individually hand-placed lights. It's just a lot to maintain. We are outside in the back of our house. We built everything around this seven-tier waterfall and that gave me lots of opportunities to plant and put things in there, stones and rocks from all over the world. The idea of running water always fascinated me. I love I love the idea of just moving water, things in constant motion, and we wanted to have a river, so we made a river of amethyst that actually illuminates at night and looks like glowing lava ember at night. It's beautiful. My youngest son, Asher, was saying, Dad, you can't have a man cave without a secret room. It's gotta have it. We built this secret room, which has a 500 pound electromagnetic door that actually acts as a panic room at the same time, which is pretty cool that is a kind of an entranceway to the most coveted pieces, the ones that are the most rare, or, you know, interesting, that kind of thing. My landscaping team, Reed, the son, he's like, you know, I've been helping you move these rocks for a couple of years all over the house. People should see this. Would you mind if I took a few videos and put it on TikTok? And I said to him, what's TikTok? 
and it turned out within a year, there's like 600,000 people following and the community of people that are following his videos, people connecting together, kids coming to visit. And this one, I still have kind of mesmerized by it. Disney fans always think of this as some type of frozen castle, but the process that Mother Nature did to create this with the iron oxide and the calcite and the druzy crystal tips, it looks like something that belongs in the Modern Museum of Art, but it was completely made underground over millions of years without the intervention of humans. The idea of me selling this off piecemeal, that is not something I wanna do. I hope to have a generation's worth of lifetime purpose with this collection so that this can have maximum positive impact on people. The, the beauty of nature is awe-inspiring and eclipses anything man could even conjure in our heads. In fact, it's all art, it's all beauty. It's all amazing. My goal, like when people come through, is I want them to feel like they're looking at something really special.